in this short video we we're going to try to get an answer to the question as to why do we say frictional force produces centripetal force of course it is related to vehicles moving for example this is let us say this is a road and let us say there is a vehicle moving in this particular direction these are let us say the wheels of the wheels of the vehicle and it is taking a turn and moving along this particular road and what we generally do is we say that frictional force is responsible for centripetal force and then we say frictional force is equal to mv square by r or centripetal force is equal to f what i'm going to try to uh, explain is why is this so right let us take first a very simple example let us say this is a road and let us say this is a vehicle right, right which is moving on this particular let us say these are the two wheels of the vehicle and uh, my drawing is not very good with the vehicle so i just just uh, i was thinking of you know putting showing you the driver and all but i'm not going to do that i'm just going to show that this is a vehicle which is moving in of course it is uh, not a carriage right there's a driver over here and an engine is running this vehicle so it's moving in this direction right and what happens is that this is moving in this direction now we tend to believe that it's the, let's say this is the engine of the, this is the engine of this particular uh, vehicle we tend to believe that the engine is making this vehicle move forward right even though that may be true but it's not completely true right let us say this uh, let us say this road would be completely completely frictionless right if it would be completely frictionless then what would happen is that the en engine would cause these wheels to only move in a circle uh, only perform rotational motion that is the wheels would continue to move at this same location but the vehicle would not be able to move forward it is the friction which causes this vehicle to move forward right so you can say that the forward motion frictional force plays a very very big role the job of the engine is only to cause this wheels to rotate right so from that point of view frictional force is a very very important force and now we will take this logic and use it over here let us say this vehicle is moving in this particular direction and it wants to take a turn now if this road would be completely completely smooth frictionless for example let us believe that this road is made up of ice right so the friction would be extremely extremely neg negligible in that situation what would happen is this vehicle when it moves forward and the driver tries tries to take it in this direction it would not be able to take the turn it would tend to move in this particular straight line right because there is no friction it is a friction force which causes it to take a turn and thereby we say that it the frictional force is responsible for making the vehicle take a turn and therefore it is responsible for producing centripetal force so this turning happens because of the frictional force which is acting between the wheels and the road uh, i hope uh, this very very short video will help you understand why we generally take frictional force is equal to mv square by r thank you